Hi, my name is Anila McGarry, and I'm going to be talking to you about really something that's going to make you question humanity's place as top of the food chain. And it's going to happen really because of artificial intelligence, or in short, AI. In our history, we've been through very few industrial revolutions that have really shaped our history, such as the use and discovery of fossil fuels, the steam engine, electricity, and the internet. The era that we live in today, the World Economic Forum is describing as the fourth industrial revolution, which is a revolution of AI. Note that I said revolution, not evolution. Revolutions are far more impactful. But you see, AI is not just an industrial revolution, it's an informational revolution, taking precedence from the hugely impactful and famous invention of the printing press. You see, this industrial revolution is going to be different to any other we've seen before. It's going to have a far more profound economic impact. It's going to truly disrupt the way that we work and we live. In just the next couple of years, anything between 7 to 15 trillion dollars will be created in economic value around the world. Note that the world GDP today is around 100 trillion, so that's a significant impact in just a couple of years. No other technology has done anything like it, not even close. New companies will be created, providing new services, and therefore new jobs will be created with new skills that we've never had before. And that's going to have a profound impact on our communities and the way that we just do everything on Earth. If you read back history books in how it was when cars were invented and took over horses as the main mode of transportation, you will see that there was significant social and civil unrest when that happened. There were conflicts all over the world because of this. So just imagine what a technology that can replicate many of the things that we do as humans will do to us. The impact is going to be huge. You see, much of what we do is summarized into three categories. The famous work, eat, sleep, repeat. And really, this cycle is about survival, human survival, the basic human instinct that we have in order just to live and do things that will keep us occupied. But, in essence as well, when you look at what we do between the ages of 20 and 50, we spend anything up to 50% of our prime years working. That's a significant amount of time. When we go to private or social gatherings, when we meet people for the first time, the thing that we often get asked is, what do you do for a living? We spend so much time working, and we focus so much of our life around it, that it impacts where we live, the hobbies that we have, and even some of the friends and people around us as well. So, when this is touched by AI or is changed by AI, you can see that this is going to be hugely impactful. AI today is already demonstrating understanding of deep emotion and creativity, which were historically human traits only. When you compare AI to humans today, the AI systems which are available to everybody already has an IQ of 150, so it's already smarter than most of us. It is also much better in terms of memory, it has infinite memory and perfect memory, something that the human condition will never have. <coughs> And it is also faster and stronger than any of us when combined with machinery. Many, many people will also argue that it's even more creative than we are today. And it's definitely faster at creating things than we are. Just to tell you a quick story, I was sent a joke the other day on my WhatsApp that I it didn't understand. I read it over and over again. And I just put it into ChatGPT, and it explained the joke back to me perfectly. <laughs> And the funny thing is, is that the joke was actually really funny. <laughs> you see, AI is much more than we imagine. It's much more, much more. And I hope that by the end of the speech, you'll be able to understand that better as well. As an AI practitioner, I'm considered to be one of the top voices in the world for AI today. So I'm super lucky, and I'm also lucky to see technology before it goes out to the main market and to the main masses. Sometimes years before anybody else gets to see it. And I'm really astounded by the amount of innovation that is happening today, and also the amount of investment going into AI. 
This monstrous momentum is both exciting, but if I'm quite honest, it's also scaring me. Just to balance my argument out a little bit, there is something that humans do better than AI today, and that's in relation to power consumption. The human brain only requires 20 watts of energy per hour in order to operate and, and think properly. Whereas an AI, an AI system that does something comparable will need significant amount more energy. I believe that in the next couple of years, definitely not decades, there will come a moment when we will look in the mirror and see very little difference between us and AI. It's going to be a moment of literal reflection, where we're going to have a significant identity crisis. And we're going to be asked the question, what makes us so unique? What makes humans so different to everything else on Earth? And it's going to make us want to reimagine our purpose in this world and what we're doing here. It is widely accepted that artificial general intelligence, or AGI, will exist in just five years from now. For those of you who don't know, and there isn't a clear definition yet that's accepted, but I think few will argue with my definition, AGI is a system that can do anything a human can do, or a collection of humans, but better, faster, and more creatively. And already today, we're starting to see early signs of AGI emerging, just this year and last year as well. Again and again, I'm asked the question, how do we navigate this new chapter in history where AI intrudes in everything that we do as humans? And the way that I think we should think about it is that AI is here to liberate us from the work that we shouldn't be doing. So many jobs that we have are, are in essence, senseless. They don't make a lot of sense, and they're based on a bad design because of basic human thinking. And they focus on the wrong priorities, on things that really don't matter such as chasing money and just fame and things like that, which don't make a lot of sense. It doesn't make us a better human civilization. What we could do is use AI to create a better Earth, to create a better human civilization, and to fix some of the deep-rooted problems that we have in this world with the systems that we've set up. If we set the goal to become a better human civilization, I think we'll all agree that that is definitely a goal worth setting that is very motivational. A couple of things that we could do, for instance, in improving the human race is improving our schooling systems. Why don't we create school systems that improve? Instead of trying to get students just to pass tests, why don't we teach them how to open companies and manage their finances and emotions? Things that they actually need in the real world. With the amount of time that we're going to get back from AI, why don't we use that time to fix the broken tax systems that we have so they actually work? Innovations such as Neuralink is also promising to reverse blindness and to help with diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. I know many of us have lost loved ones to diseases that have been around for far too long. And it's all because of healthcare systems that are broken. They're incentivized to mask diseases rather than actually finding cures for them. And what about global warming? The very thing that can make us extinct. Is there anything more important for us to fix than that? You see, AI is not magic, but it's definitely going to free us from traditional work like we know it today, so that we can set new goals and new standards of what it is that humans should be doing on Earth. In conclusion, I think AI is a technological marvel. I think many people will agree to that. And it gives us a chance to fix broken systems and reimagine our place in this world which is something that we've never really had the chance to before. Surely the human race is more than a senseless work, eat, sleep, repeat cycle we've been on for far too long. In a world full of uncertainty, one thing is for sure. AI is going to drastically change the very thing that defines you and that you spend the most time on, which is work. The decision that you have to make is, are you going to squander that opportunity by further deteriorating the human condition, chasing money and greed and things that make us into beings that just shouldn't be? Or are you going to use this new resource and technology in order to answer some of the mysteries in life and to fix these broken systems that we have in place? 
And if I'm quite frank as well, I don't think we have a choice. Our very existence as a human race is based on this, before AI, quite rightly, decides to take matters into its own hands. Thank you.